Time to put the uh, working bell into uh, my RGS20 Loco. Here's some of the little motors that I use. Just buy these. These are 3 volt and planetary gearboxes on them. So this is the one here now. I'll concentrate on this one. This is the one we're going to put in. So I've got a sleeve of uh, Evergreen Styrene that I put around that. And then the base. I put a base on there as well. So that uh, when the uh, crank wheel turns, I've got clearance. It's not going to rub against anything. And I've just made up this uh, circuit, which is the LM317LZ voltage regulator, 47 ohm resistor, and a service mount diode. Diode just stops the um, motor turning, uh, generating power going back to the uh, tr decoder and blowing the FET transistor, so it's a safety precaution. So it's just three components there, three volt motor with a planetary gear, gear head, and we'll show the uh, what I'm doing here with the tender there now, the uh, cabin. You can see what I've done there. Because of the curve in the uh, cabin roof, I've put a, another piece of styrene in there. Now we've got to paint this yet, but that's the base that's going to take this motor. Positioning the motor, I've got it right back so that when you're looking in, you won't see this up on the roof. Yet to be painted, of course, so you won't, it won't be showing. But that crank wheel has got to have the clearance to be able to turn. And the wire, which will be 8-tower uh, phosphor bronze wire, which I'll chemically blacken, that's got to be able to run out through the front opening here and out to the bell. I've run the blue and the green. I always use the green, which is uh, default on F1 anyhow. So I'll just dual mode that with uh, the, the bell sound. The common blue, that's coming up into the circuitry, which I just uh, showed there. And then the motor, the two terminals off the motor will go onto this as well. So two wires in, two wires out to the motor. Pretty simple. And then the linkage wire out to the uh, bell itself to make that turn. This is an important part. To stop the whipping uh, that the bell rope could make going through the front wall of the cabin, making a, a little T-shaped um, elongated uh, rod uh, hole for the track spike as it turns. As the spike goes up and down with the rotation, that'll stop the whipping or reduce the whipping a fair bit. So what we do with that there then, is we bent that pair of pliers, little pliers I've modified, bent that, and now I'll just solder that um, to keep those uh, the wire end attached, and then that'll be right to be you know, put on, and then we'll chemically blacken it. Okay, so there's a test. I just made a little styrene washer to go on the outside, and uh, you can just see the clearance, that's trying to lift a little bit there simply because that's too uh, too low. Getting with that uh, washer on there, and you need the washer, you've got to make sure you clear the back wall of the uh, tender cabin. So when you're positioning this in there, that that's completely clear to turn freely to uh, make the bell swing. So the bell's going to swing backwards and forwards off that. I'm just testing that that's going to turn in there and clear very well to get the bell to turn. So that's the position that's going to be in. Got to be painted, of course, and hidden, but uh, that's just testing before you put it in. Make sure you're going to get a good swing. The motor's been painted now, and I've used ACC gel glue to glue that styrene base onto the styrene pad that we put in previously. Now that's turning there now, just on uh, DC power. But you can see the, the distance that I've got here there now. That's about three sixteenths of an inch. So putting that onto the bell, I'm going to get a nice swing on the bell with just that much movement. That's only about a quarter of an inch, uh, or just less than a quarter of an inch, because that's a quarter of an inch diameter. Um, so that's about um, three sixteenths also. But that's moving okay there. Now you see what I've done here. 
I've put the circuitry in here and just joined that up so I've got the green and the blue coming up onto this little uh, three component circuit and then I've got the uh, black and red from the motor coming uh, coming onto it as well and I've got a large piece of heat shrink here which I'm going to slide over the whole lot of that so that I don't get any of this um, solder points touching. I just got uh, a test track using the uh, NCE piece of track there and there's the bell in there now I'm getting swinging that's on F1 now we've got to do is now is dual mode this so that we've got F1 the green uh, lighting function with the sound okay so um, I've just uh, dual mode the um, bell sound which is on uh, the green wire for the, to the motor um, with the function green function so we've got the sound on F1 now so if I press F1 So there we go, there's the um, dual motor there now. That's just the four CVs. CV, um, you can select whatever bell you want. I think there's about 60 different bells you can choose to get the um, rate right. CV201 uh, equals 4, CV202 equals 14, CV203 equals 2, and CV204 equals 7. Uh, you go to their... Um, web page and you can see everything that you want there I keep these and that sort of thing there so I can um, quickly do this with the NCE system when I'm just programming a loco you'll notice that there's um, no w other wires I'm just using those extra pickups that's giving me regular power to the loco while I've got it there if you look inside there you can see the cabin light in through here and then the firebox flicker on the back and I've got the headlight on up here at the moment but um, yeah, so that's the bell. Getting a working bell. <laughs> I love them. There you go. The two wires coming out the back here. I've got a blue and the and the violet wire. They're going to go to the tender with a, um, I'll put another motor in the tender. I'm just waiting on the uh, Aspen model company, Eden Allen, to uh, make a new uh, fireman. So as soon as I get the fireman, which will be the new year, I'll, uh, I'll add him onto the tender and then we'll finish the loco off.